Hello trainers, Ganeto here with a new brand team for Cats Cup. So we're gonna use today triple Paldian starters in uh, Go Battle League and Great League of Cats Cup. And of course, I believe that this team is extremely spicy. If you want to run it, feel free to do so, but prepare for the uh, consequences because uh, you're gonna have a lot of good leads, but also a lot of bad ones. And some of these bad leads will never be turned around. So anyways, let's see what we have going on here for the first battle because as you can see, a lot of trainers are gonna use a lot of meta Pokemon. So my legend push the other day was not successful and I'm not gonna get a lot of uh, discouragement on my part, so I'm just gonna keep going in there with Spice and see what happens. Uh, anyways, now Night Slash is gonna finish off the Stunfisk before they reach to another move and unfortunately for me I cannot reach here to the Night Slash for super effective damage against their own Skeletrids. So at the back now they have this Gorgeist, but of course my my skeletons now can easily farm down. I don't care a lot though if they even reach to that Shadow Ball because then I can still return to the battle with my Quack Waval and still gonna farm down and have the liquidation, they're gonna back out so we're gonna take this victory into the next battle now and they are having a Pelipper up in front and yes you have guessed it right this Pokemon is not gonna be a trouble for my fire type Pokemon but also at the back line for my uh, both uh, Quackoval and of course uh, the Meowskarada so with that in mind now we're gonna return into the battle with our Skeletrids able to completely farm down tank the move and right after I'm expecting that they're gonna bring their Pelipper into the battle what I want to do here is to go first for the base and the disarming voice while right after I can still hit them with that shadow ball perhaps they will fall here to my trap perhaps they are not gonna expect the back to back combo but of course they are gonna let it go and now I can easily switch out to my Meowskarada I know that this is gonna be just a weather ball so it all depends now on what they might have at the back it is gonna be a Cradilly which is gonna do a lot of solid work on the meta of uh, Cat's Cup and right after we can still bait now for that Night Slash. Even if they take it, we can still go for more Night Slashes, but if they block, look at that trainers able to reach to the grass not for massive damage. So now they're just gonna finish us off with that Rock Slide and of course all we have to do here is to farm down. Can we do it trainers? Yes we can. Down they go to that final incinerate before they reach to the Rock Slide which was super close and we're gonna get that sweet victory into the next battle now with a Houndstone up in front so this Pokemon is not that great for my team either uh, because my only answer to that threat is gonna be um, Meowskarada and I do not want to spoil it from now anyways as it seems they want to stay in so I'm just gonna sacrifice here my Kakwaval alongside my shield and we have to complete the farm down now with my Skeletrids I believe yeah here it is so that extra incinerate can be worth a lot of energy in the process and now at the back they have this Conkeldar. So I'm not seeing a lot of Conkeldars in uh, Great League and Cats Cup, which is kind of a big bummer uh, because this Pokemon has a lot to offer, especially against ghost types from that Halloween event with its community day move Brutal Swing. And with that in mind now, we're just gonna keep going at it with my disarming voice, trying to catch one Brutal Swing to the Dark type, which was pretty nice, I guess. And right after, we have the Night Slash on that final Pokemon. They're gonna have a Meowskarada of their own, so the battle is definitely not over yet. Before they reach to their own Night Slash, we have to reach to the Disarming Voice. Can we farm down? Of course we cannot, they have a lot of energy stored up, so we're gonna go down in a single Brutal Swing into the next battle now trainers and we're having up in front the Golisopod. So this Pokemon is very bad for my team as well because it has RLAs for the backline and of course those Shadow Claws in combination with the Liquidation are just gonna destroy down my Skeletrids. Not only that but also the x Scissor might be potentially bad for my uh, for my uh, Meowskarada able to one-shot it down at some point of this battle. Anyways able to one-shot down their artifacts as it seems with that weird combination of liquidation first to grab the shield close combat then and then another close combat to almost one shot down that goal support so now they can still reach to a move but it doesn't matter we have passed through the incinerate and right after we're just gonna keep going at it with the shadow ball so i know that this uh, cloud side is a big problem not only for the meta but also my team so as you can see we have a lot of weaknesses coming up on your screen uh but still we can go pretty rough at them with my moves i'm just gonna block what 
whatever they throw here as it seems they do not even have sludge bomb which is not that weird to be fair uh, because a lot of trainers are using stone edge are using earthquake are using whatever else move this pokemon might learn but as it seems this one doesn't have not only sludge bomb but also mega horn so we're gonna be just fine by completing this battle into an amazing victory into the next one and we're facing kind of a famous trainer sep over here and up in front they have medicham so we grab a very good lead obviously but at the back this pokemon is not that great for my backline i have to stay in and see how this goes so i'm just gonna get here the disarming voice able to pass through a whole incinerate worth of energy so that was looking pretty good at the moment and of course another disarming voice is coming towards their way they know my energy status they are not gonna block at all and right after we're expecting the third pokemon to come into the battle but instead they throw their medicham so at this point i have a shadow ball ready to go gonna pass it through on that medi down they go with all that energy and i sacrifice here my shield i believe thinking that they might have gotten to the psychic of course that was not psychic at all able to get here now to the close combat they let it go through and down they go even though they had the shield in an amazing one shot by a close combat from Quaval. into the next battle now trainers with a charge back this time up in front so we're getting kind of a good lead after all those very bad ones in the start of the video and of course we're meeting up with another conkeldar so obviously on the first day we had zero conkeldars but right now on the second day we're kind of having a bunch of those coming up on our battles so having here now the brutal swing blocked uh, that was a risky move but still i could not risk it if they have a dynamic punch i have so much energy to spare and as it seems my liquidation here is gonna do a lot of damage even to that electric type pokemon so another uh, liquidation is coming up we're gonna grab the shield out of play and even if they get here to that uh, discharge we can easily survive it for sure now at the back they have a hit on top and guess what trainers my move is coming up my disarming voice to do massive damage on that pokemon able to farm down the process the hit on top with those leaf ages and of course the nightless now will deal more than enough damage to secure the victory for this battle into the final one now trainers and we're having a wiggle tap up in front so my incinerates here are gonna do a lot of work in combination with my fire typing resisting those charms but at the back as it seems they're getting kind of weak to my uh, pokemon over here that was a weird earthquake from their side to mine and now they're gonna get to the aqua tail so that is an interesting combo to be fair because if you have the legacy move from its community they move aqua tail perhaps i say perhaps uh, earthquake might be a better choice overall for the second charge attack haven't tested yet perhaps it is perhaps it is perhaps it is not so anyways now we're seeing that weekly tough is uh, coming in able to get destroyed down by my pokemon and now at the back they have a jellison the battle outcome hasn't been settled yet but as it seems even though we have some not very effective moves to throw at them we might stand uh, on the upper ground up against them because another liquidation is imminent let's see if they are gonna take it no they have to start shielding and right after we need to keep going with our moves i'm just gonna call it i believe here uh, thinking that they might go for that uh, uh, weird surf but that was no surf at all straight for the shadow ball pretty well played for my opponent now the surf for my skeleton this is a race now to the double charge attack can we get there before they reach to a single surf and yes we can trainers right on the cmp to finish of this battle into an amazing victory thank you for watching trainers and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content here on youtube and speaking of more of my content here it is trainers two videos for you to check out feel free to check them out and i will see you all into the next one